Hello, I hope you're doing marvelously well. My name is Dominic and this is Mitya. Hi. We are sales experts from Music Max and today we have the pleasure to present to you the whole line of light electric guitar and basses. This is something we are really proud of because we spent years of development and improvements to get to this point so we can now offer you an instruments that are of excellent value for the money. In cooperation with great musicians all over the globe through all the years by hearing them out, working with them and listening to their perception of what makes an instrument their first choice, we now understand and know what components make an instrument inspiring and of great value, but still keeping the instruments for you on the budget. All electric guitars and basses that we will show you today were developed in mind for someone who will start a music journey and also for all the musicians who would like to have workhorse instrument that won't let them down on any gig. Don't forget to watch till the end because each of us will have to choose our favorite bass or guitar. Take your seats, the flight begins in 3, 2, 1... And here we are. For the first demonstration, we choose uh, our take on the classic Strat series. And um, in my hands, and also in your hands, we are holding our EST11 version 2 uh, Stratocaster guitars, actually, uh, flight. And tell me about your guitar, and then I will tell something about what I just played. Yeah, this uh, 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 version 2 is upgraded a little bit, so these guitars have very nice looking upgraded uh, flight logo mm -hmm. and uh, all the cosmetics is also upgraded, so this guitar in uh, black color option has a nice cream colored plastic parts which instantly reminds you on some famous guitar player. I know what you mean. <laughs> you mean David Gilmour. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. yeah. And this guitar uh, have a, a satin neck finish mm -hmm. and also fingerboard. So this is a very, very... And it's maple. It's maple neck. Yeah, it's maple yep. neck, of, uh, of course, and uh, also fingerboard. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, uh, very good for all the uh, players who have a little more sweaty hands for all your sweaty players there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what about your guitar? Okay, um, let me start by just saying that the first thing I notice is that my guitar actually has the, um, not the satin finish, yeah. but the it's gloss. The gloss finish, yeah. So, uh, actually, let's start by the tuners. The tuners are made in, uh, in the house. Yeah. They are quality tuners at that price point and once you put strings on and you, you tune them they will do the job just fine yeah. for any gig. Uh, other than that also I have uh, maple neck and fretboard. Yeah. Um, my guitar looks a little bit like the 60s vibe and other than that, there's nothing, I would say, uh, extraordinary, but uh, it has three single coil pickups. Um, you get all the classic positions in between, uh, which uh, we will show just in a second. Then at that price point, we also offer you uh, the whammy. Yeah, of course, you can, you can uh, play with the tremol bars. We don't have it here, but it is yeah. included. Yeah, other than that, you plug your cable in here, just you would on any other Stratocaster guitars. Um, 
tone and volume knob and that's it. Uh, show us a little bit about the tonal options you yeah. can get out of the guitar. Okay, I will show you all five positions so you can uh, hear the difference between mm -hmm. the different positions. So okay. we will start with down position. That was the bridge pickup. Yeah, and that this is... Uh, Middle and bridge pickup together. Together, yeah. <laughs> Spot. <laughs> and then the middle pickup alone. Mm -hmm. And middle and neck pickups together. Mm -hmm. And neck pickup alone. Nice. I really like the, like I said, the, the sweet spot between the bridge and the middle pickup. It, it gave me that uh, Dire Straits vibes, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see how my guitar actually does the things if the, the glass neck changes anything. Okay. Uh, let's start with the bridge. Vintage vibes. Middle position, uh, bridge pickup and middle pickup together. Only the middle pickup. Middle and neck pickup. And the neck pickup on its own. So I think you can get useful sounds out of this guitar that you would of any, I don't know, classic. Should do anything from rock and roll to pop and... Yes, very versatile it guitars, will, yeah. It will do just fine. Yeah. Okay, are you ready for the next two? Yeah, of course. Let's do it. Continue. Um, actually, the guitar I hold in my hand is the same you played before. Yeah. It's called the EST uh, 11. 11 version 2. Um, everything is the same. It has the satin neck, um, but the color is called one red. Yes, that's correct. And I think it looks pretty one red to me. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> so, <Of course. laughs> now tell me about the guitar you played, because... Yeah, uh, this is actually EST-13. Mm -hmm. uh, so the only difference is that it uh, don't have three single coils, but has one humbucker pickup and two single coils. Mm -hmm. So uh, the difference is that the humbucker pickup is fatter sounding and has slightly uh, higher signal, so it's better for rock and roll. and such things. So it's a very versatile uh, model. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, you can play. You can do many. also metal with this guitar. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Other than that, the neck is also uh, satin finished. Yeah, it's satin finished. Okay. Yeah, of course. Um, the thing we forgot to mention before is that actually guitars at that pri price point are made. The body is poplar. Yeah, yeah. That's our our choice of wood. Yeah, of course, and of course. They sound cool. 
Uh, what would you other say about this guitar? Maybe you show us uh, now the different uh, pick up, pick up configuration uh -huh, sounds yeah, yeah, yeah. you can get yeah, from yeah, yeah. this guitar. And so I will start with with this uh, humbucking pickups, mm -hmm. which is uh, slightly hotter and has a more warm sound. Mm -hmm. To the other. Those are the in between position, the humbucker yeah, 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 and yeah, the middle single coil. This is uh, uh, the first pickup and the middle. Yeah, sounds good. And the other other sounds uh, are pretty much the same as yeah. on uh, EST11. Just just play them through quickly. That we heard. If you're looking for, I don't know, the classic vibe stuff, the modern stuff, or also the stuff you can play a little bit more anything, basically, yeah. on, on it. Um, those are the guitars style, yeah. you should be looking for, actually, because those are the, the versatile guitars. Okay, want to yeah. do the next two? Yeah, of course. All right. <laughs> Some pretty interesting guitars we played now. Oh yeah, indeed. Um, actually, mine, as you can see, is a little bit smaller. It's actually made in mind for the kids that are not so big that they could play uh, the electric guitars we know. But uh, in a much smaller, compact version, they can get the just the same guitar they would. This one is actually called EST11 V2. Uh, Mini. mini, because it's mini. It's in red color, and apart from that, it's almost the same as the. Yeah. It's actually downsized uh, Strat model. Yeah. With everything. Um, I think it's really interesting because all the guitars I, pl I played before didn't that were like small guitars didn't have like the full. Um, tonal options that yeah. you you would get on any other strat. So you get two tone and one volume pot, five way switch for all the tonal possibilities uh, out of the single coil pickups that are made in the house. You also get the whammy. Yeah, of course. The whammy stuff, and the neck is smoothly, smoothly, smoothly um, raw yeah. finish. It's, it's satin finished. Satin finish. And what's called the wood uh, on the fretboard? It's Kabukali wood. Kabukali wood. So those are actually the first guitars in the line we show you with Kabukali wood. Yeah, yeah. And course. also on, on yours, I think it's the same. Kabukali yeah, wood. Yeah, this for is the this is a option for, for all uh, guitars with, with a dark fingerboard. Mm -hmm. It's Kabukali wood. Okay. Other than that, tuners the same that will do yeah, just yeah. fine in-house build uh, standard flight tuners yeah well, just maybe let's see all the tonal differences we can get out of this guitar yeah, of course because. this was the uh, neck, neck pickup pick yeah now the neck pickup and the mm. middle pickup together Only the middle pickup. Middle and bridge pickup. And the bridge pickup. Okay. 
okay, that's about it. I really like the guitar. Yeah, sound nice, yeah. And now tell me something about yours. Okay. This is uh, EIB 10. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a more a modern approach to the electric guitar. Mm -hmm. This model has sleek body uh, with a nice uh, satin, satin finish. Mm -hmm. uh, it has three pickups, one humbucker and two single coils. Uh, as we mentioned before, it has Kabukali fingerboard, mm -hmm. maple neck. Uh, this, it has volume control and tone control and five position pickup selector. Also, it has uh, in-house built uh, flight standard tuners. Mm -hmm. And uh, this guitar is uh, meant for... It definitely gives that 80s modern kind of vibe. Yeah, that's what uh, I wanted to say. Yeah it's, yeah, it's for that kind of music. Yeah, so and for also we don't uh, mustn't forget to mention that the bridge is actually a little bit different uh, than yeah. on our other Yes, models. Uh, it's uh, two point, mm -hmm. two point uh, pivot bridge style. So it's a little uh, more modern approach to, to the stays a little better in, in tune when you and use it. Floats a little better. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. So I think all in all, this is a really versatile guitar because it has a humbucker and two single coils and the playability yeah. and all the stuff. Uh, the modern vibe show us a little bit what kind of tones you can get out of it. Yeah. Okay, for, for start, I will, uh, I will check with some bluesy lines because mm -hmm. this is not just a rock and roll machine. Humbucker is real business. This is for such a stuff. Nice. So, so would you say this could maybe be the the, the guitar you choose for for the the last? Might be. We'll see. We'll see. Let's watch till the end. Yeah, you should wait by the end. Okay. So, if you're ready, yeah. let's do the other two. Okay. All right. This is something we're really proud of. It's actually the first time we have a, a Telecaster. Yeah, it's a TL10M Tele style guitar, yeah. which is uh, really based on legendary design from the 50s. Yeah, but the body is, was it in the 50s also Ash? Yes, 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 yes. It was. This is uh, original Tele, tele design, yeah, Ash body. Cool. So. This is something we're really proud of because it's the first time we incorporated in our, own, uh, in our instruments uh, ash wood and it's actually also the first time we made a Telecaster. Yeah, it's a tele style guitar. Mm -hmm. The model is called TL10M mm -hmm. and it's really designed on a, a legendary tele from the 50s. Yeah. So, uh, obviously it's an ash body which is really the best choice for, for the uh, Telecaster style guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a maple neck and fingerboard. Mm -hmm. uh, also uh, in-house made uh, standard tuners. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Tele style bridge and two uh, single coil pickups. It also has a, a three position pickup selector switch and uh, volume and tone control. So, in short, 
this is really tele style guitar with yeah. all the imagery as it should be so it really looks like yeah. an and also the bridge is actually vintage yeah yeah of course of course it's vintage three bar barrel style as in old telecasters uh, maybe show us some spanky sounds you can get from the, the guitar yeah this is uh, really guitar made for <laughs> for uh, such a sound <laughs> It's a guitar, it will cover everything from classic country, rock, maybe even jazz and or, or pop music. We should say at this point Telecaster is the most used guitars in all the different genres. Yes. I looked that up on the Google. Yeah, Trust yeah. Google. Yeah, you, you <laughs> could hear this guitar on many, many very popular music hits mm -hmm. from the last few decades. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. I hold it in my hands, a jazz bass, it's called the GB10, yeah. um, the body is from ash, as the neck is from maple, as also the fretboard. Uh, what I find really cool is those inlays on the fretboard, they yeah. look amazing. It's really unique shaped, so... Yeah. Um, apart from out, that, yeah. the tuners are standard in-house made. Yeah, yeah, more uh, more vintage style looking. Mm -hmm. Open gear. Yeah, yeah. If you can see. Um, and then the pickups. It has two pickups that you would find on any jazz bass guitar, and the um, tonal options you can get out of this guitar are actually um, the first um, pot is for the volume of the neck pickup or middle. Whatever or middle, we yeah, <laughs> whatever we call it. Then uh, the second is for the bridge, and this one, the last one, is for the tone. For yeah, uh, for both pickups. Yeah. yeah. So let's hear some sounds. Um, let's start with the neck pickup and the tone all the way up. Warm, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything you would expect from decent jazz bass guitar. Yeah. The next one, the bridge pickup. Yeah, and cool. both together, you heard them in the uh, jam. And if I put the tone down, we get sound a little bit like this. Yeah, that's so cool, man. I'm really proud of those two guitars because they, they just look natural and feel natural and sound great. Yeah, this is really great sounding instruments and you will enjoy it for many years if you choose for your main instrument. Yeah. Or if you pro, you can use it as a workhorse. Yeah, of course, for second guitar or whatever. Or maybe the first. You never know. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's show. Um, now we'll go through the basses if you're ready. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So it's all about that bass. Yeah, of course. And we have two beautiful jazz bass guitars. Yes. Um, how are they called? EJB10. EJB10. Both of them are the same model. Yeah. But as we figured out, um, the cosmetics are a little bit different. Yeah, slight variations. The Sunburst has uh, metal lobs mm -hmm. and the black one has uh, uh, correct jazz bass. 
knobs. <laughs> okay, so uh, the neck on both uh, is uh, maple. Yeah, of it's, course. It's it's uh, satin finish. Yeah. So it's really smooth, really comfortable to play. Um, tuners standard. Yeah. Face tuner, tuners open. Vin vintage like, yes. Yeah. Open gear. Um, what's the body made out of? The body is made of poplar. Mm -hmm. The pickups on the bases are in the house standard jazz bass pickups we made. Yeah. I think they sound great. Um, maybe I will be the one that will demonstrate uh, yeah, all course. the tonal possibilities we get from it. So uh, the first knob will control your volume of the middle or neck pickup. Um, the second control will uh, control overall volume of your bridge pickup. And the last one is uh, tone for both pickups. Yeah, so for both pickups together. How will it sound if just the bridge pickup is on? Now only the neck pickup. Sounds warm. Yeah, it has the growth. Still has the yeah. grid, the jazz bass grid. Okay, now the bridge pickup. And both together. It's classic jazz bass. Yeah. Song. And by rolling the tone up, you get the darker sound, actually. Yeah, warmer. And that's about it. I think they sound and feel really great. Yeah. Uh, they are perfect uh, value for the money and um, Great option for all the bass players that want a classic bass. Yeah. Okay, let's do the next two. Shall we? Let's go. Actually, the same, what are they called? called? It's ELP-10 model. ELP-10 model. Yeah. Um, let's start from the bottom to the top. The body is made out of mahogany. Mahogany wood, yes. Also the neck. Mm -hmm. And the fingerboard is made from kabukali wood. Kabukali. Um, what about the tuners? Uh, as, as as in previous models, it's uh, in-house built tulip shape standard tuners. I think they look nice on yeah. the guitars. And uh, uh, hardware is uh, vintage style Les Paul looking. So also pickups. Yeah, tape piece and bridge. Yeah. Pickups are humbucker pickups made yeah. in the house. Um, and of course, uh, uh, controls are standard. Mm -hmm. uh, two volume and two tone controls. Two tone controls, pickup. three way toggle switch, yeah. uh, cream binding, and also we nailed the um, yeah, position inlays. markers. Yeah. yeah, That are on all Les Paul guitars. Uh, the really, the one and only difference on all guitars is that mine is black and yours is actually cherry. Yeah, yeah, and this, this one has a really nice uh, flame maple top graphic, so it's yeah. Looks really cool. So we're actually using two different amps, yeah. but they should and they will sound the same on, on the same amp. So yeah. give me the honor and play, play all the different possibilities. Okay, let's hear this. 
First is the bridge pickup. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can try with a clean sound. And then both pickups together. And the neck pickup alone. Pickup particularly has very cool jazzy sound worm 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 sound. Mm -hmm. Would you mind if I demonstrate this sound a little bit? Yeah, Let's yeah, see. Of course. If I maybe put the tone a little bit down. <laughs> those they those are solid yeah, yeah, yeah. really decent uh, decent sounding guitars you can cover everything for rock to blues to metal yeah. to modern to jazz yeah not so really matter. there's nothing much to say let's do the other two <laughs> okay let's go on all right Basses, actually, it was interesting. Mine's classic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, it's a P bass, actually, um, with all the good P bass stuff you get. P bass is found in every genre of music, so um, this bass is designed to also do this. Um, the body is poplar. Yeah. Uh, maple, maple fretboard neck, yeah. and uh, neck. Uh, tuners. In the house, great tuners, open gear tuners. The pickups, standard in the house, uh, P-Bass pickups. And uh, you get uh, volume and tone, so. And if we put down the tone, we get a little bit more darker sound. That's about it. Yeah, okay, that was uh, EPB10 yeah. model. And uh, here is uh, EIB10. This is. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. EIB20. EIB20 is a uh, uh, more uh, modern looking uh, uh, bass. It's lightweight for uh, everyone who don't like very heavy guitars because it has a little smaller body than P bass or jazz bass, uh, but uh, it has uh, similar pickups. It's best of both worlds, uh, P bass pickups and uh, one bridge uh, jazz bass pickup. Mm -hmm. So you, you have a very versatile so sound here. So this is uh, work like this. Uh, there are two two controls for volume and one is for for uh, this uh, middle pickup and uh, one is for this neck pickup so if if we try uh, maybe just just this pickup it was with the uh, tone control rolled down so it's, it was a little darker sound, now with full on. And then we switch, and it's just this pickup. And now with both pickups together.
You have here options for jazz bass sound, for P bass sound, and something in between. You get the best of both worlds. Yeah, that's correct. And uh, this guitar is also, uh, the body is made from poplar. Mm -hmm. It has maple neck and kabukali, kabukali fingerboard. It's from exotic wood named kabukali. And now we come to the point when we said we will choose our favorite bass or electric guitar and yes. we'll play a little jam on it. Yeah, of course. So give us just a second. Yeah. And here we are with our chosen two. Um, tell me, Mitya, why did you choose this guitar? Yeah, this guitar, first of all, it looks great with uh, cream colored plastic on, on uh, uh, black background. Mm -hmm. uh, the neck is very comfort comfortable, uh, mm -hmm. a little bit more modern shaped and mm -hmm. uh, this uh, satin fi finish is really great for playing. And also the sound of this guitar suits perfect for my taste. Cool. Okay. And I chose the jazz bass uh, in ash because it just looks amazing. Uh, there will not be any two guitars that will look the same uh, because of the natural grain of the wood and it just feels great and it's inspiring to play. So yeah, with no further ado, let's jam. Good choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 